In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean the Lippmann Lightweight 2 SE thoroughly from top to bottom. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Nurse Jenny here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to thoroughly clean the Lippmann Lightweight 2 SE. So we're going to go from the ear tips to the diaphragm and we're even going to take it apart and clean in all the nitty gritty areas. If you're like me into all things nursing, please consider subscribing and if you found this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'll quickly show you how I would clean this stethoscope between each patient use, which won't be a thorough clean but it will be a clean that you do many times a day. I would use one of these alcohol prep pads which has got 70% isopropyl alcohol in it. I always keep it in my pocket. Uh, most nurses do, I think. I would clean, clean the ear tips, just rub it around, clean the diaphragm because that's been on the patient, clean it around, and then I'll just give the tubing maybe a little rub down like this, like that, let it dry completely, and then ready to go, ready to use for the, on the next patient. So let's start with the cleaning of the ear tips. On the Lippmann Lightweight 2SE, you can pull the ear tips off, straight off. And then what I would do is I would use a cotton tip or a Q-tip, the things you clean your ears with, and dip it in some alcohol and rub it inside, all inside there. Get all the grot out if there's any in there, both sides. Make sure it is thoroughly dry before you reassemble again. Then I would go to the diaphragm. Take the diaphragm off. Again, I would use a ear cleaner, the quick Q-tip or cotton tip, dip it in some alcohol and clean around all the crevices in, in, on the, in the diaphragm and then also on the chest piece. I would clean and thoroughly make sure that is dry before I put the diaphragm back on. Now the bell side, the, this little plastic thing also comes off. So I would take that off, clean all around in the crevices where bugs like to... to um, to hang out and then clean the, the, uh, the plastic part thoroughly and then reassemble when it is completely dry. So if you want to give your stethoscope a real spring clean, a really thorough clean, you can pull this stethoscope apart in two places and you would clean around all the edges there. You can take your little uh, Q-tip and clean inside there and you can also pull the chest piece off and do the same there. Clean all around the crevices, clean just inside there, let this, for goodness sake, let this dry properly before you reassemble because you do not want any any fluid or any condensation in your stethoscope. Remember guys, it is super important to clean your stethoscope between each patient use. You want to avoid that cross-contamination at all times. This is why we wash our hands so much as well. Now I like to use these prep pads which have got 70% isopropyl alcohol in them. Just Basically just alcohol. And every hospital should have them readily available for you. You can buy this at the chemist, but if you don't have these, can't get a hold of them, the Littman manual actually says that you can use soapy water just to clean it down with a cloth and that works just as well. Thank you for watching the video. May your stethoscope be clean and your next shift quiet. I'll see you guys on my next video. Later.